So I think the importance of our Maritime Museum is, you know, Santa Barbara is a maritime town. You couldn't arrive here by any other way other than boat, uh, you know, hundreds of years ago. So we have a rich maritime history going back a thousand years with our, our native Chumash. So uh, the, the history is just very, very rich and very varied from commercial diving to sport fishing and surfing to shipwrecks and a lot of shipwrecks in our channel. The Santa Barbara Channel is the, one of the most diverse, rich, unique spots in the world. Hi, my name is Greg Gorga. I'm the executive director of the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum. And we've been here on, in the Santa Barbara Harbor since July of 2000. And it's a um, wonderful museum. It covers a rich, varied history of Santa Barbara and the Central Coast maritime history. And we strive to be one of the most interactive maritime museums on the West Coast. and all of our education programs are unique because they're hands-on, experiential, so you learn by doing things. So for instance, our uh, Richard Henry Dana Tall Ship Overnight Program, fourth graders read the book, they go on a tour of the museum, but then they spend the night on the tall ship. They're learning how to cook breakfast and dinner for everybody. They're learning how to pull together to hoist a barrel of water onto the boat or hoist the bosun's chair up the mast. Six of them have to go out on a, a little dinghy and row together to look for hides and tallow. Uh, is hidden throughout the harbor. So they're learning teamwork, so they're learning speaking skills, they're learning listening skills, and they're learning leadership skills. Those first mates, the teachers talk about how they go back in the classroom, they're showing much better leadership skills, and they're all participating in the classroom better because they're learning self-esteem. And living history is so much more entertaining. I mean, the kids are, are living it. They are here doing all the things that people did in the 1830s. And so it comes alive for them in a way that, you know, just reading about the book is not going to do it. And feelings of accomplishment, I mean, that goes across the board in, in any venture they're going to go forth and, and try to conquer, is that they, they have this as a self-esteem booster that, that can help them get there. So the future for the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum, I think we continue to be an educational institution. We continue to expand our tall ship programs. Uh, offer them more students, offer new types of programs, certainly expand the marine science program. I would love to do a shipbuilding program for at-risk youth, more after-school programs for at-risk youth and gang-related uh, youth. Uh, you know, anything we can do, uh, summer programs for, for youth. And again, continue to expand our lecture program for adults at, at, the, at night and more films because we have a wonderful high definition theater. I think we need to take more advantage of that. And then of course, new exhibits. We are slated to get the Point Conception First Order Fresnel lens. The US Coast Guard has designated us as the future home for that lens. It is a significant part of our history in the most dangerous waters uh, on the West Coast. So exciting exhibits like that continue to offer hands-on, uh, interactive exhibits uh, and, and really continue to grow for the future. Well, you know, we're a nonprofit, but and we're a benefit to the community, but we survive only because of our community. We rely on the generosity of our donors, our members, uh, our local foundations. So in order to grow our education programs, in order to bring that point conception lens to the Santa Barbara Maritime Museum, we need the support of our, our donors and our community. We need uh, you to become a member of the museum, we need you to think about supporting our exhibits and our education programs. And those education programs, by the way, we provide them free of charge to Title I low-income schools. And we can't do that without the generosity of our community and our foundations. And we also need volunteers. We need folks to work on the ranger I'm standing here on, to work on our front desk, uh, and to be part of our exhibits committee and help us create new exhibits, create these education programs, docent tours, be a part of those education programs. So, it's, uh, we can't do it without your support and you can designate your support in general operating funds which is great for the museum or in support of a particular exhibit or in a particular education program however you want to do it. Not only do we want you to learn and, re and remember the past, our history, but we also want to take care of the oceans in the future and so you have to know the past to be able to work with the future. And so